Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am working on Daihatsu Hijet 3 cylinder small van. Customer complaint was very very low power when it drive. Really we had a test drive too because we need to confirm the customer concern. That's true, this car running very bad and very very low power. Really poor rolling over and hesitation on the acceleration. Actually I scanned this vehicle first but there was no any fall code. And I check all the data pits and they are not so helpful and they were not so bad to take a diagnostic decision. Even though scan data not direct us to fuel delivery issue, I decided to check the fuel pressure. Because low fuel pressure could cause to this kind of low power situation. In this picture you can see the fuel pressure is around 40 psi which is good. And this amount is more than enough to drive this kind of vehicle perfectly. So, fuel pressure is not the matter on this car low power situation. Then where we to go? There is no any diagnostic clue. So I decided to do some secondary ignition waveform test which can reveal lot of information about ignition system and the combustion. Because if there is any fault in the ignition system or in the combustion that could cause to this kind of low power situation. Actually secondary ignition waveform test is one of my favorite which is good diagnostic gateway into the combustion and ignition system. Okay I have hooked up the scope and set up the panel probe to trace the secondary ignition waveform. Before I start the diagnosis I would like to deliver some vital and basic information about the secondary ignition waveform for the beginners and newcomers. The image on the screen you are seeing right now is the basic shape of a secondary ignition waveform which was taken from a non good ignition coil. If you are looking forward to use the secondary ignition waveform test for the automotive diagnostics, definitely you have to remember this basic shape in the red circle. Because always a good ignition coil with a good spark ignition system will throw this type of shape as the secondary ignition waveform. If the combustion or spark ignition system goes wrong, this basic shape get deformation. So I have marked several important points as A, B, C, D, E and F that we should look for the any deformation to get a diagnostic decision on the secondary ignition waveform. You can see here point A is the start of the primary coil on time. The length of the point A to B is the primary coil on time or we call it as the dwell time. Point A is an important diagnostic point to observe. You can see small oscillation at the point A which indicate healthy primary coil of the ignition coil. This bunch of ripples appear due to start the magnetic flux is built. So if you didn't see this point A oscillation might be a primary side issue of the ignition coil. Check the current consumption as a waveform at the primary side of a coil is an another great test to determine the primary coil is defected or not. We will discuss it later in this video. Next, point C is another vital point to observe. This point C represents the high voltage kick or we call it as KV spike. If this spike not appear in a secondary ignition waveform might be an issue of a primary or secondary side of a ignition coil. But the height of this spike might be changed accordingly the situation in the combustion chamber such as rich or lean condition. Okay then point D is the KV level that required to maintain the spark flow across the spark plug gap. Next length of the point D to E is the spark duration also known as burn line. In a good cylinder with a good spark ignition system this burn line occur bit over 1 millisecond at the idle. Actually this D to E burn line is a good diagnostic gateway to understand the in cylinder condition such as rich or lean fuel mixture, lower compression situation, spark plug gap deformation etc. Finally this point F is the coil oscillation after the burn line. It should be seen on a good ignition coil. I just delivered very basic information about the secondary ignition waveform. But there are lot to learn to be an expert in secondary ignition waveform diagnostics. So there are lot of resources in the Google and YouTube about the secondary ignition waveform. Please extract more knowledge from there as I do. Okay then let's go to the real time secondary ignition waveform diagnostics that we were doing. This is the coil number one secondary ignition waveform quite similar and normal that we discussed just a while before. With the first impression of this waveform seems to be no issue in the cylinder or spark ignition system. Okay let's go to the number two ignition coil. Same thing seems to be no issue around this ignition coil too. Pretty conventional secondary ignition waveform pattern. 
Okay, then let's go to the number three ignition coil. Look at that super extraordinary waveform pattern rather than we discussed and seen on previous ignition coils. With the first impression, we can see no high voltage spike to be appear, and the primary coil oscillation at the point A that we discussed also not appear. These two things make us sense that this ignition coil is bad. Okay, next I suffered the ignition coils into different cylinders and do some research. Now I have replaced that bad ignition coil into the number one cylinder. I am going to pull the coil out and see the ignition coil is contributing to the combustion as the old school method. Look at that, sound was changed and engine is shaking because of this coil is contributing to the combustion. Then it seems not to be a bad ignition coil or that conventional coil pull over test method misled us. That is why this type of advanced testing methods are more confidential to take right diagnostic decisions. Once again, I checked these secondary ignition waveform on all these three coils. Number two and three ignition coil secondary ignition waveform looks are pretty normal. Okay, I go to the number one ignition coil where I replace that bad ignition coil. But look at that number one ignition coil secondary ignition waveform still deformation and very extraordinary. So, I am confident enough to condemn this ignition coil only with this test. But before that, I would like to perform amp draw test on this coil to confirm this is a bad ignition coil. Because it will bring you some additional knowledge about the ignition coil amp draw test. Okay, then let's go to the amp draw test. Already I have hooked up the low amp clamp around the ground wire of a one ignition coil. Let's record all these three ignition coils amp draw patterns and analyze them later. However, this is the amp draw pattern you are seeing on the red trace and I checked the ignition coil trigger signal on the blue trace simultaneously in this waveform. Do you see this straight up line in the beginning of the amp ramp? That is not a good sign. Normally it indicates shorted primary coil in an ignition coil. So this is the bad ignition coil we identified with the secondary ignition waveform test earlier. Other than this straight up beginning of the amp draw pattern, that rest of ramping shape is the normal current draw pattern of a healthy ignition coil. In a normal ignition coil, this ramp should start to ramping up smoothly. Only tiny oscillation ripples could be appeared as normal, but if this beginning of the ramp goes straight up, that is not okay as we are seeing here. Okay, let's go to the recorded waveform to further analysis. These 1, 2 and 3 files are the secondary ignition with that current ramp of those 3 ignition coils which we were working today. Then I load the waveform file of the number 3 ignition coil which we identified as non-good coil. Do you see that peak to peak amp draw is around 9 amps which means healthy primary coil. Ok then I separate 2 tracers to visualize them clearly. Red trace is the primary coil current ramp and the blue trace is secondary ignition waveform. So clear, simply these two traces represent classic shape of a good ignition coil and spark ignition system. Look at that starting points of the secondary ignition waveform and the current ramp. Nice and clear oscillation and smooth ramping up of the current ramp. As I said earlier, these points are vital to observe, determine the condition of an ignition coil. Next, I am going to put a ruler on the current ramp starting point and show you the height of the straight up line of the beginning. But this is not necessary, I just do that for your understanding. With the first impression, we can see really no straight up line appear in the beginning of the current ramp. You can see here that is just a 200 milliamp hump which should not consider. Ok clear, next I load the next waveform file that we have taken on the bad ignition coil as we identified earlier. Do you see that this ignition coil also drawing over 9 amps same as the non good ignition coil. It looks pretty normal. But still you can see on the blue trace of the secondary ignition waveform is not normal. Ok, I will just separate these two traces to better appearance. Look at that, how bad is the secondary ignition waveform on the blue trace. Here is in this point, no KV spike appear and no primary coil oscillation appear at this point. Also no voltage oscillation at this point after the burn line. But you show that this ignition coil was still contributing to the combustion. Actually so hard situation to take a decision without this kind of advanced diagnostic test. 
by guessing and part changing in the hesitation is not professional that will make your customer non return so i'm going to measure the height of the current ramp starting point straight up line as i did on the non good coil current hump do you see that clear straight up line here which wasn't appear in the non good ignition coil current ramp okay let's measure how high is this straight up line in the beginning look at that it is over 500 milliamp which is not okay really we don't need to measure that as i said earlier just you can compare and understand that start point has been gone straight up even though this overall current ramp looks good that start point elevation make us sense this is a shorted primary coil okay now we are confident enough to call on this bad ignition coil no hesitation need a new ignition coil so this is the bad ignition coil removed and replaced the aftermarket new ignition coil in this video i was trying to show you how important is secondary ignition waveform test for accurate diagnostics especially when you have no scan data support or no clear direction to go try this test it will direct you in any issue in the internal combustion process new set of spark plug replaced and injectors also were cleaned to prevent further damage to ignition coils do not replace coils without proper investigation why old one get damaged Okay here you can see the second ignition waveform of newly replaced ignition coil pretty normal we had a test run after replace the new ignition coil no more lagging or hesitation this vehicle runs fine low contributed bad ignition coil drag this car into low power situation thank you for watching stay subscribe with us for more diagnostic videos